Oh, hey there. Want to see some cool sh**? Well, you're probably in the wrong place. You want to see a guy be a dumbass for several hours? We get you. So we're doing an experiment today. That experiment is uh, vis-a-vis microphone settings. So if the mic is too quiet or sounds like crap, let me know because I can revert it very easily. But I think this should be better than it was. It, it should be. My, my guesstimate is a little bit quieter, but a decent chunk better quality and less clippy. You actually hit it immediately before I reset the thing for the day, so you get two fucking Thurstons, Taraka. You lucky piece of shit. Director Scar, Obvious Clone, Sugar Raven, Mad Cat 17, USHC Code Blue, API Dev, Iron Warden, Boat Zero, Central Club, Frem Takaka, Taraka, Sugar Raven, Artistic Panda, Scythe and GM for Life, and Lil Evic. Starting us off with the cannonade today. Welcome in, everybody. It should sound better. It should be better quality, because I think the way that I had it set up before was a little bit stupid. Uh, and that I was I was over boosting it. I was compensating with gain a lot more than I needed to. I literally, for reference, for the people that this will mean anything to, because if you know what a decibel is and how the fact that adding decibels is like actually exponential growth, I have 15 decibels less gain on my mic than I did with the previous setup. That's a lot. That's a big. That's a big change. I think I can actually even set it like down here. That's probably too low. I probably should keep it up here. But man, it's... welcome, Squidling, to the Squiddy Pool. That's a crazy thing. It should be way. While less this says only sixty-five months, thing. I've been watching for quite a bit a longer and plan way. on doing so for quite a bit more. Even if right I here. can't make it to as many cores 65. of having to add alt more and more. The way of the world is, I'm afraid. You were the shiniest squidling. So today, we're going to play some more RuneScape. And when I say RuneScape, I mean RuneScape, the version that is a video game. The version that you can create a character on and log into and get any level of explanation as to how the various features and activities within the game function. That you can go in and receive an experience that is playable by the average human without having to spend 20 to 50 hours on a completely different external Wikipedia site trying to research every tiny fucking aspect of how any part of this functions. In a game that will tell you where fine cloth to make split bark comes from. Where when you ask a Slayer Master for advice, they don't just say, Herder, vampire bad. They tell you the weakness of the things, they tell you where to find it, they tell you the kind of shit that can work, and they do it in a somewhat flavorful and in-character manner. A universe where there is a zone in the beginning that teaches you the basics of all of the 50 shitzillion skills that your character is going to have instead of you just not doing Hunter for 300 hours because you've never been introduced to the fucking core concept of what Hunter can even be other than just a weird paw print occupying 1 28th of the space on your skills tab because there's information because it is a video game. It has quests that you can go do and you can play through them and have an experience and find a story and not spend literally three months trying to figure out what a chain that will not compromise is only to finally solve that mystery via a random am I the asshole post on Reddit. We're gonna play the video game version of RuneScape and not the sad. 2007 Gremlin version. Thank you. I'm excited. Was that a good one? USHC Cub Blue. Was that, was that rant worthy? I love it. Okay, Gusta. <laughs> I still gotta get a scene made for it. I, which I want to do instead of just saying that I want to do it over and over again. But I have so many other... I, I have a lot. I have a lot of things going on in the background right now. Feast to be the two perception show and the tabletop content that I put out. I have so 
much. They're, they're, okay. And I've said that, like, hey, hey the next show is going to be a big upgrade. And because when I've saw any new cameras or a studio, it's a little less dumb. Um, I'm going to make it. We're, we're, it's going to be big. It's going to be big. I'm fucking excited. I'm excited to be able to say anything more than that in a, for, in a theoretical future where I can say more things than that because things are, like, definitely coming together and happening in the way that they want to. But, man, I'm just, I'm just fucking excited. And not only am I excited about that, I get to play RuneScape, and RuneScape is great, and I'm going to have a good time with it. But yes, hopefully the microphone is much better quality now. I am, uh, this will surprise nobody, a dumb idiot. Um, I had way too much fucking gain on my mic uh, that could be compensated for in a way that is less stupid than what I was doing, because I think it's just blanket stupid. The way that I had my microphone set up prior to today with this GoXLR was stupid. And now we have evolved from stupid into just bad. Because I still don't know what I'm doing. And I'm still, I feel like, clearly doing it wrong. But I'm doing it less wrong. And less wrong is progress. Less wrong is how we get places. I know it just cut for a second there because I was looking at the mic settings again and it, like, shifts the mic input to this little settings manager thing when I do that. Now I only have 40 decibels of gain on my microphone, which still shouldn't be necessary. <laughs> that's, that's way more than it's supposed to have. But, but then again, maybe it's not. I mean, maybe that's, that's normal. But if I cut 15 decibels out and we're clipping way less and it still has decent volume, then, like, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy. We're in here. We're doing some business. It's coming together. What's up, drag frame? How you doing? I am enjoying the hell out of Room 3. This shit's fucking great. You hear this, by the way? I didn't realize until this morning. I had the title screen muted. So I never got to hear the new version of... The login screen music. And it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. Log into it now. <laughs> I could just sit here and listen to the title screen music, but I guess we could actually go play RuneScape. <laughs> we could also just sit here and listen to the fucking title screen music. All right, I was trying to figure out. If you're wondering why uh, I hadn't gone anywhere, but I logged in briefly. I got naked. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to X. Maybe someone can help me with this. Maybe someone can help me with this. We got actual, like, RuneScape 3 players in the chat. So, let me find it. Let me find this link in me and Hexy's conversation. Um, scrolly, 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 scrolly. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Okay. But there's this thing. This thing exists. I don't know how many people are familiar with this thing. There's this uh, rune apps thingy. And the only reason that I care about it is because this is the only thing. This this is a model exporter. Like this this will let me download the 3D model of this Cassandaly. So I can put it in Blender. So I can do stuff with it. Because this doesn't have Rune Lights model exporter like old school did. 
but I don't know how to make it work. Because if I click this, if I click this scan thing, and I've checked this, my private chat's on, player examine is on. If I click this, this pops up, and we'll sit there for as long as I want to leave it there. This will never progress from here. Is there something that I have to do <laughs> to make this work? Because I would really like to be able to export the Cassandra Lee model so that I can put it in Blender and do stupid crap with it. Um, the thing that I was trying to do at the moment was we were making a thumbnail for our RuneScape 3 playthrough, which just has to use the old school Cassandra Lee on account of I have the old school Cassandra Lee because I can just use the RuneLite exporter for that. Uh, so we just... This, by the way, fun fact, Hexy made this from scratch. This RuneScape 3 helmet, Hexy totally scratch modeled. Because we have we cannot figure out how to get absolutely anything out of RuneScape 3. <laughs> so she just fucking built this. And I went to my house and just clicked export on like everything in my play around house so I could put this all together. So everyone thank Hexy for this model even existing that we could have it in the trailer and stuff. But yeah, this will literally sit here until I get bored and stop doing it. Uh, which is why I was naked. I was just I was just trying to uh, trying to export the thing. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. Yeah, that's the hardcore Iron Man helmet. Which I how do I get that? By the way, God fucking damn it! The first thing I was gonna do was say that now that Birthorp is not full of fucking demons, we can go do the quest. But of course, it's still full of demons. So I guess we'll do something else. That's fine. Hardcore Iron Man armor isn't actual armor in Runescape 3. It's just a skin for your armor. You got a customization tab? Is that the mask? That The mask is what I would guess. I feel so informed. Okay. All outfits. I don't understand what I'm doing. <laughs> Find the owned filter. I right now I'd settle for the anything filter. I can't see anything. <laughs> No things appear. What am I supposed to be? I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something. Don't know what it is. List view. Iron Man Hardcore? Ah! This? Looks like shit. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll just wear bronze. It's fine. We all know that I'm a hardcore Iron Man. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need to... That's unfortunate. Um, man, the Iron Man armor in old school actually looks like super badass for how terrible everything in old school looks. The Iron Man armor was definitely one of the exceptions. It looked great. They had some stuff in there that looked really good. In old school. And I think the Iron Man armor was one of them. But boy, that, that just don't look very good. Alright, today's plan. Was gonna be to do freaking Druidic Ritual. <laughs> but there's still demons all over Perthorpe. Um, oh, Gertrude's cat. If this still does the same thing. Or anything. I have no idea. Because now I have found a quest. I have found one quest. And that was Witch's Potion that is completely unchanged. Which means there are quests that are identical. They're not all going to be totally different experiences like Rune Mysteries or Overhauls like Sheep Shear and Cook's Assistant. Some of them are just going to be the same shit that we did on 2007's game. So, if Gertrude's Cat's in that pile, it would be smart to go start it. You know, for the cats. For the death runes. For the Ivan Blast. I'm making just so many assumptions right now. Almost all of which are confidently wrong, I'm sure. But some of which might not be. Some of them might even be right. Hi, are you okay, strange lady in a bonnet? 
<laughs> Do I look okay? I fucking hate my kids. I'm sorry. I just... I lost her. Your kids? Oh, my kid. What? What? The fuck? I fucking can't. I've had it for almost a decade. Did you go find her while I take care of my dog shit kids that I hate? Can I get paid? No. I'll give you some soup. Are you gonna help? Are you fucking serious? I'm sure, I got nothing else to do. Birds are still full of demons. I'll give you some chocolate cake. A kitten? You wanna take care of a kitten? I will sell a kitten to the death rune store. Again, a lot of assumptions going down right now. All right, so I'm gonna need a little more information of this. Find a cat is pretty non-specific. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, I have no idea where she is, honestly. Not a single clue. Uh, my sons saw the cat last. They'll be on the marketplace. So there's a lot of marketplaces and I'm not metagaming. So where at? Well, let them do whatever they want. So I don't know what they should be doing there. Probably just hanging out in the middle of Varrock, in the Varrock Marketplace. Oh, to be a child. Okay, I'll go talk to two kids in Varrock Marketplace and hope there's not a fucking, like, school field trip to the castle or something. Hey, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go on the hope that the only two children in the city of Varrock. Fortunately, this is RuneScape, and that's accurate. So you have become a bush. I don't know why you become a bush. Also, IIRC, the sardine needs to be uncooked. The dialogue is definitely already different. So, I don't think we had all this specification about the Varrock Marketplace before. But the Dougal Leaf bush is there, so... I don't know how similar this is going to be. If I have to bribe this kid for info, I'm just going to go get a bucket of milk and uh, raw salmon. Hey, small child. We're looking for you. You, Jesus, the kids look like fucking demons. Oh my god. Look at this Gumby looking motherfucker. What the hell? That's not a human person. That is like the worst Nickelodeon cartoon character I've ever seen in my life transported into some kind of Eldritch Hell world. <laughs> I didn't talk to you, Slenderman's kid. Yeah, I am. Oh my god, it got worse. What the fuck? What the hell? Dude, this is just. This is straight Gmon. This is straight Gmon. I don't even know, like, how to comment on this. I don't even know where to start. On this creature. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to help your mom find your fucking cat. Oh, well, in that case, I might be able to help. Uh, why is your facial animation at 2 FPS? I have so many questions. Like, <laughs> why are you in 2 FPS? What the hell? My animation doesn't even work right. Mom's followed me to my super secret hideout. I haven't seen her since. Probably I've eaten small creatures somewhere. And so where is your super secret hideout? If I told you, I wouldn't be a secret. What if I have to run for the police? Because I stole candy out of the stall. I need a hideout. Okay, look. I don't think there's going to be... Like, I do a lot of crime. I mean, I haven't... Shit. I haven't, like, yet. But historically. So, I can tell you with the utmost confidence they have bigger things to worry about than some little shitters with fucking knitted sweaters with your initials on them. <laughs> They're gonna be a little more concerned about other things. No, it's mine anyway. I had a place to be alone sometimes. Those two little brothers at the house are just such babies. What well, you fucking... What's gonna make you fucking tell me? Uh... Money. How much money? 100 coin. What the fuck? What are you buying with a hundred gold? Well, I don't like chocolate. You said expensive candy is? We're in like a fairly post-feudal medieval society. Candy's hard to produce, man. 
Okay, well, why am I? Why would I give you a hundred dollars? Convince me. Well, you, that's a ridiculous amount, obviously, but you know, you want the quest to progress, right? Fine. But I want you to tell your mother what a nice adventurer I am. I need you to, I'm trying to build some rapport. I'm pretty new at this. I've only got like seven quest points. I gotta get some word out. What? Go tell your mom that I was a super helpful, heroic adventurer. But that she will reward me for finding this goddamn cat. Okay, deal. <laughs> All right, now where's the fucking cat? I had in the lumber mill in the northeast. Must be on the Jolly Boar Inn. My soft gloves running around in there. Well, not so much running as kind of like, you know, plodding lazily, but you get the idea. Anything else I need? Well, it's technically trespassing, but no one really seems to care. Gotta find a broken fence to get in. I'm gonna go get a bucket of milk and a sardine. I'm feeling like we're... I'm, I'm getting vibes of they've changed the dialogue and basically nothing else. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure we're doing the same quest. Just paying to improve your reputation? Capitalism, it's finest. We got with the Dragon Age Origins approach, where we make people like us more by just giving them a bunch of shit. Shit, wait, hold on, what's my fishing? Oh, no. <laughs> well. All right, detour. Minor detour. Give me a couple of logs, please. Log me. I don't know if bait is still a thing that I need. Well, the guard is actually fighting the goblin. Huh. It's a regular tree. I don't know, it just hates me. And the cost of happiness. Okay, so the guards on the bridge are actually, like, actually keeping the goblins out. I got the, the point was there are guards there, and that's why the goblins don't come into Lumbridge. But I didn't realize they were, they would actually fight them. That's pretty neat. There's a fucking bridge right here. They got rid of that shitty goddamn grapple hook shortcut and just made a fucking bridge. Um. Ah, there we go. Where's shrimp? I can't believe we live in an age where we're watching a RuneScape guard do anything. Ah, oh, my net's like a bag now. I just need... I'm pretty sure I'm fishing in literally four inches of water. This is a fucking puddle. Well, there's fishing four. I don't need Uno Moss to figure it out. This is definitely just a puddle. Music to tune. Well, the music in this game is really good so far. I mean, that's the one thing that I would never complain about on either RuneScape is their mu uh, music is generally bang. There are some exceptions. Some exceptions. Sea Shanty 2 sucks balls, fight me. But I'm pretty sure it only sucks because of... It's like the Undertale problem. Undertale's great. Literally everybody who enjoys Undertale is the worst. I think that's kind of the, the same with the sea, the sea Shanty thing. We literally had to ban Country Jig from the music requests. Yeah, that's true. When we had the Channel Point Redeem to pick the music in old school, we had to ban... Like, we voted to ban Country Jig because that song is so fucking annoying. <laughs> You're not wrong. We could get the channel point redeemed back, I suppose. We could just have, like... What the hell is this kangaroo demon? Obviously, it's a pet of some kind, but it is a giant kangaroo demon, and I hate it. This is the worst thing I've ever laid eyes on. That's a fucking chinchampa. How big you throw chinchampas? They're not that big. There's nothing you can say to convince me that a chinchampa is that big. You fucking throw them at people. They are a handheld explosive. That thing's three feet tall. Okay, hold on. I have five fishing. Can I now just wait? You have fishing rods. Okay, so that's so you have the net for free. That's I guess I can look at the pool help, I suppose. Fishing. 
Oh, so you actually do bait is still a thing. So I have a fishing rod, I assume, is what this means. Yes. I just need bait. I think the Lumby General store sells bait. You think this guy sells bait? Why do you have a teleport on you? What the fuck? Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Here for the fish flingers competition. What? No. What do you mean the what? What do you want to know? What the fuck is a fish flingers competition? I have 10 fish flingers entry tickets. The chance for you to show why you can catch fish by choosing the best tackle in habitat. Us old timers know of a special place. Isla Anglerine, where huge schools of unusual fish seem to gather. Not sure what the fish find so appealing there, but it's a fisherman's paradise. I can teleport you to the island if you want to take part. Huh? Hold on. Oh, this is a distraction. I'm, I'm being distracted and also diverted. Let's go see. If not, I'll just teleport to Port There's a lodestone. Let's go. Because I guess I don't need you. I was going to set you on fire for the cooking, but... I guess I'll just use the stove. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, while I was fucking around... While I was fucking around in the options, trying to make sure that my private was on and all of the various things I need to export that model, I found something that I'm going to turn on. Pong. Uh, it's called the I know what any of the icons mean button. And I, I'm i going to turn on the I know what any of the icons mean button. If that's... Fuck it off, right? Oh, there's a fishing store right there. What the fuck? Hello? Hank? What's the point of having a counter if we're this allowed from speaking over it? Okay. I would like some bait. Thank you. Have a nice day, sir. Oh, there's money on the ground. That's for me. I like money. I didn't think I was going to be able to pick that up. Paid 15 cents for a little handful of worms. Found a quarter on the way back out. Stonks. Big fucking profit. That's how we do it. The power of capitalism. Oh, look, a quarter. Oh, shit, on a bucket. That was just kind of like, I had a pretty decent, I guess I'll use the general store for the bucket then. Book, uh, Trimpa. Give it unto me, the cooking experience. The res on the icons combined with having a real map messes with my eyes. The map's not super high res. I don't really feel like there's a big difference between the resolution of the icons and the resolution of the map. I love the burnt fruit stacks, by the way. Burnt fruit stack stacking. Fantastic. 10 out of 10 experience. Alright, then we're off. So that way. So obviously, you have the concept of resting to get your run energy back much faster in this game because they realize that walking everywhere sucks and makes people want to uninstall fucking immediately. But, question. Does it deplete slower too? I feel like it depletes much slower. Like, I'm pretty sure a walk from the general store to this fishing hole would have left me at, like, 10% run energy, if not setting me to zero entirely. Yeah, because I got, I got literally five agility. I have five fucking agility. I don't think weight affects it as much. Yeah, I'm in full fucking bronze. <laughs> okay. That's also true. I'm in full bronze. And I just ran from the Lumbridge General Store to the fishing holes, and it took like 25% of my run energy. That's fantastic. So are we sure that we're fishing, or are we just like... Also, I just realized I could click on this pet, and it told me what it was.
I think that's new. I don't think you, you couldn't click on pets in old school, could you? They just were like non-existent fake entities. Ha ha! A fish. We're not, yeah, we're not gauntlet fishing with our rod in our hand doing literally fucking nothing. The example will tell you when they got it. You lied to me. Scammed. That's okay. Here, the thunder has started outside. I'm fine with that because it's really fucking hot. Thunder, good. Heat bad. I'm just gonna catch all five of these just so I have them. Just like, fuck it, just get around my inventory, get some fishing XP, and then we'll go back to doing what we're doing. I'll get the bucket of milk, and then we're gonna go continue doing the quest and find out that none of this shit matters anyway. Uh, because that's not how the quest works anymore. Uh, which is pretty much what I'm expecting to happen. All right, now I need to go buy a bucket, milk a cow. I'm pretty sure I need a bucket of milk and a doodle sardine. Let me just see. Is this an interaction that functions? Don't make a doodle sardine. I mean, that's... That's a point. That's a point towards this still being the way the quest works. Welcome, Squidling. I can sure make a doodle pool. sardine. Electro Knight 1943-51 months in the pool. You are the shiniest Squidling. Thank you. For the over four years. That was the cool guy penthouse screen, you have a friend. By the way, after that conversation we had the other day, I did I can now hear my voice in my head. Which is uh useful. Magic training technique. I have the feedback loop going. So if I like turn on the ghost voice, I know how it actually sounds. Instead of just kind of estimating. Or whatever else it is that I'm doing at the time. It's been like 20 minutes, 40 minutes. I'm actually already pretty much used to it, so we're good. Cassandra Lee stream concert confirmed. We're in the fucking Lumbridge cow pen. God fucking damn it. Yeah, so it should theoretically be basically impossible for me to forget I have a voice modifier on now. Basically. It should be... Basically impossible for me to forget I have a voice modifier on now because I can hear it in my own head constantly. And if I'm going to subject you guys to something horrific like the fucking gnome child voice. Or do I still have the gnome child voice? I don't know if I still have that one set up. I'm about to make one. What are you? Your worst megaphone. What if instead of worst megaphone, you were gnome child? Is this gnome child? I don't think so. No. Gnome child. Ah, this was gnome child. That was how the gnome child voice worked. I have it now. <laughs> That's back. Okie dokie, off the bull we go. What are these guys? There's so many of these, like, everywhere. What is- I'm gonna listen to you. I like how he's kind of playing the melody line of the old school version of the song. That's kind of neat, actually. I don't know what this does. Run energy restore. Huh? Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just like, this is neat. I don't know if it has a purpose, but it's neat. Ooh. When they said at the lumber mill that I was going to sneak in the gate, I'm like, yeah, climbing over a broken fence is not exactly what I would call sneaking in a gate, but sure. But we actually have to sneak in the gate. Ooh. And there's people in here. That might be a problem. How do I get in? I was looking for... If I, oh, there it is. That was a hole in the fence. I wonder if I actually have to, like, hide. What are they gonna do? I'm in full fucking... I'm in full plate. With a mallet and a 
some other weapon and a scimitar. Just say something. Fucking say something. See what happens. Where are we on the quest? Right? What is actually the objective? Find Flux. Okay. I'll uh, we'll go to where Flux was. Flux is still here. Hello, Flux. Pick up Kang. Ma'am, you are wearing full plate. <laughs> I guess the full plate does not include sleeves, which in hindsight was probably a bad idea. Are you thirsty, you shitty cat? That is not a cat. I don't know what it is. But it's definitely not a cat. That is a... Everything involved in this quest is a horrible demon. Could this be dog? Progress, at least. Come here, cat. God damn it. Are you hungry? Gonna be great as your cast likes to eat. Don't worry, I'm metagaming. Here's a Dougal sardine. Okay, so this still works basically the same way. Give me out again. I saw a ghost box. Oh, the ghost box in the distance! Come here, cat. Quit! Number down below, you can hear kittens yelling. Okay, pretty cool. So this quest is also, I think, totally unchanged. I'm pretty sure they changed a decent chunk of the dialogue. But I think the actual quest progress itself is unchanged. How close exactly? Um, are we doing a hot and cold? Or are we doing a click on literally everything? I thought at first maybe it was a hot and cold. Hey, I'm gonna go through here, and if you wanna say anything, I'm gonna hit you with this fucking hammer, okay? In this, is this the kitten? There's no way a kitten is moving a giant wooden box. I assume there was like an entire nest of angry raccoons in here or something. There was like, there are three kittens that are so small, they take up the same amount of inventory space as a single sardine. They are not moving this wooden box. This thing is several pounds. They don't get paid enough to care about someone breaking. Yeah, especially someone in, again, full plate with weapons. It. Take your stupid cats. Oh, look, they look here. Okay. <laughs> These are it. Did they just go down the... The ladder. Okay. They went down the ladder. The vertical ladder, the, the kittens, the very small kittens have gone down the wooden rungs of the vertical ladder. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's true. The kittens weigh, uh, the kittens take up as much space and are as, as girthy as one single sardine or uh, like... 2.157 or whatever billion arrows which take up the same amount of space very small arrows we have extremely tiny ammunition thank you Shrimp, go in the shitty food bucket thank you all the rest of the shitty food we'll get rid of you later all right good work i'm gonna have a cat i'm gonna feed a crayfish like shrimp and dumber. Even kittens can go down a ladder. Yeah, once. You can go down anything once. Hi. Uh, Flo's trying out with her kittens. Lost them. I gave her her kittens back. Did she come back home? Oh, thank you. If you hadn't found her kittens, she would have died. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. 
<laughs> You're a little too excited there, Gertrude. That's that's cool. I did my job. What did your kids say anything about me, by the way? Just, we had a deal. I mean, did your kids? I talked to them and they seemed uh, whatever. Anyway. Hey, I don't really own anything. I just, you know, have a sizable plot of property with a four-room home in what I imagine is highly desirable land immediately on the outskirts of the capital of Mistelin, uh, I with a purpose-built swing set and all the amenities a house could possibly have, I'm an impoverished peasant. Uh-huh. Boomers when they talk about how they're poor, too. I don't have any material possessions, bitch. You are a homeowner. You are a homeowner in the same neighborhood as Juliet's mansion. You are across the street from Juliet's mansion. The property value here is through the actual goddamn roof. The inside of Varric is just slums. That's why the nobility has moved outside to the western shores by the river because Varric has kind of fallen apart. This is the mo one of the most desirable areas in the entire kingdom of Mistelin. And you have a decently large, well-appointed domicile with a fence and a yard right near the riverbed. The fuck you mean you're an impoverished peasant with no possessions? You know what you can't? Give me your fucking house. <laughs> like... right, so I guess I have a cat now. I would sell one to my cousin in West Ardoin. There's a rat epidemic there, but it's too far for you to travel with my boys and all. They actually tell it. She tells you about that. She, t I think she did in old school, but you had to like dialogue tree to it instead of her just immediately telling you like, yeah, go sell them to fucking West Ardy. By the way, a kid can live in your backpack, but uh, you got to take it out so they can grow up and stuff. I have a cat now. Okay, well, I guess I'm not responsible for a cat. All right, come on, you dumpster. Let's go. I got crayfish to feed you. Constitution. Jesus. The constitution requirements. This, this 400 with the constitution with the constitution penalty. That's got a bananas actually. Okay, bing bong. And then I'm not really sure why this is a lamp instead of just a Rex XP. Pretty sure you don't get combat levels out of cooking. Um, cool. We just went from 11 to 16. Pretty good for me. Oh my god, is it actually gonna make meowing noises constantly? Because I don't know how much I really value packs of death runes. <laughs> Think about the death runes. Think about the death runes. Just think about the death runes. Going to Bert Taverly now. This is fine. This is fine. Hello. Have you guys dealt with the demons? I would like to do Druidic Ritual. But every time I come here, that he is covered in demons. It doesn't look like it is. I was going to go grab a potato seed so I could do a little bit of farmage. Also, pretty sure I got compost there now, so I'll be able to compost and ate some things. Looks like the world's been cleared of demons. That's good. So, I need... One potato seed, please. Wait, it's actually like three for... I don't know how many fucking potatoes it is. I think it's three for an allotment. In old school. I don't know what the hell it is in new school. Alright, well, we're not full of demons, so that's positive. Off to the potato patch we go. Potatoes actually fucking survived. Holy shit. 
If you sell it like a zillion buckets, you do sell like a zillion buckets. That'd be wonderful. That's exactly the thing that I want to have is approximately a zillion buckets. Thank you. Potato? Me. It is three, okay. I'm farming. So now I make buckets of compost, which is also giving me like non negligible amounts of farming XP, so that's good. I'm learning about farming by putting a bunch of shit in a bucket. Um, oh my god, exchange is left.